Oh, hi, it's me, Dr. Carl Tadek, and you're watching my fantastic YouTube channel on cysts and my bone removal. That's right, you've caught me here in the waiting room waiting for the doctor himself. This video coming up is really fascinating. What I've got is a small pile of cyst on the back of someone's head. We've gone in, put some local anaesthetic, and removed it in quite swift time. These are very common presentations that we see in people's scalps where these hair follicles just start to proliferate and can be quite stubborn, lasting for many, many years. It takes people a lot of time and courage to come forward. So if you've got something similar to this or anything else that you've seen on our channel, please don't hesitate to reach us and contact us at infoprivateclinic.com so we can get you treated promptly. So remember, if you haven't already done so, remember to comment down below, like, share, subscribe, press the alert button. I don't even know where the alert button is, to be honest. Where is it, Serena, here or where is it? I don't know, anyway. Anywhere it can be. Anywhere you can. Most importantly, folks, remember to enjoy the videos. Keep supporting us. We really appreciate all your comments. Until next time, bye-bye. The skin, give it a little bit of a rub. Disinfectant, you've got two here. So how long have they been nagging you? Um, well, uh, I'd say the big one, what do you think? Five years? Yeah. Five yeah. years? Wow. I don't know, but it's sort right. of got more obvious. Yeah. And then the little one's probably been there longer. Okay. You're not going to miss them when they're gone? <laughs> no. Okay, this is the stinging part that I warned you about. This anaesthetic goes into the skin. Mm -hmm. All right, well done. As I inject, you can see, well, you might not be able to see, but you will be able to see eventually, is that the skin blanches white. Okay, that's because it's got a bit of adrenaline in there as well, just to stem some of the bleeding. How was that? Was that okay? Yeah. Well, that's the worst of it. That was easy enough. That's easier. Easy. Okay. Let's do a little bit more on this aspect here as well. Is wife getting a good view from behind me? Oh, you're too right. And you, you're a, you're a popaholic. Self-confessed. Love you love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'd want to do it yourself. Yeah. Although, if you watch closely enough, I'll let you do the other one. Okay, so no. make a small incision. He's saying no, keep her away from me. <laughs> okay, so make a small cut. Okay, so you can see there's very little bleeding at this moment in time. These things can bleed because the scalp is quite vascular. Heads bleed a lot, don't they? Huh? Heads can bleed. Yeah, heads can bleed a lot, yeah. Oh, so straight away we've got a rupture. So I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze, get all the pus out. Okay, so that. I can hear wifey going, yes, in the background. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So there we go. There's all the sebum and um, creatinine that was in there. So let's, let's clean that away. And the sack is also rearing its head. So let's get that out because it looks like it wants to join us. Uh, let's take a bit more of a squeeze. And uh, squeeze that all out. Let's have a look. Where are we with the terms of the sack? Got to be really gentle with a sack because they're very, very friable um, and uh, they, they can break apart inside. So let's just try and squeeze as much of it out by four. Is that the sack there? Um, yeah, there's still more sebum. Yeah. It's being a bit elusive, but we'll get there. Let's have another look. Where are you, little sacky? Okay, there we go. Okay, can we see it? Can you see the sack coming out? We just do you have to get it out whole? Oh yeah, yeah, totally got to try and... Well, get it out whole, ideally. If it starts to break up, then, um, you know, take it out in piecemeal, but it's got to all come out. Mm -hmm. So, let's just get some good access here. So, five years in the making, mm -hmm. and uh, it's finally seeing the light of day. Did you name it, or...? <laughs> Did you... <laughs> Any pet pet names? Yeah. Wife must have uh, definitely. You, you mm. know, but I, I think probably have. Yeah, oh yeah, what names? What, what have we got? What names do we have? <laughs> oh, that we can't say. I was we, say it's a video. It's a video. We don't want to say. Okay. So there we go. So the bottom of the sack. Is that what the roots are made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we pull this out, can you see the bottom of the sack? Yeah. And it's attached with a little bit of fascia and collagen. Now, if we take 
it all out, this thing will not come back. Okay? I'm not in this location anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's just release it. There we go, the sack in its entirety. Wow. There it is. Okay. You got that cameraman? Fantastic. Let's pop that away. Um, what I'll do now is put a quick uh, suture in place and move on to the second one, okay? So let me know how you feel. I feel fine. I yeah. feel good. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Good man. So we're just going to put a single interrupt. Nice, don't move. That's it. Nice. Moving target. That's what oh, I like. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do is a single stitch interrupted and sod's law we're bleeding it's just bleeding, yeah. just as i'm coming out but it's not a problem because the stitch will provide some traction on that and, and stop it okay so okay so you can see it's a very small cut given the size of the sack which is great it was biggie wasn't it and like I said, seven to ten days, let's get that stitch out, okay? So just one single stitch? Single stitch, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to have loads of puncture wounds. Keep them looking beautiful for many years to come. But I'm sure wifey's gonna appreciate. So, now for this second one here, right at the nape of the neck, just below the hairline. Give it a good clean. Give that a clean as well. Put in some local anaesthetic, much the same routine. Are you okay then, Nigel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's a bit hot in here. I apologize no, for that. I'm just sweating, I'm sorry. It's the middle of the British summer, and we are having a great summer, aren't we? Are you watching any of the tennis? I was going to say it's Wimbledon week, it's meant to be raining. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I know. What's that about? Um, okay. Let's just. Right. Pause a moment, I'm just going to grab it. Okay. We're back on. We're on to cyst number two. So let's make a really fine incision here in the nape. Once again, um, let me know if there's any pain at all. How does that feel? Oh, You're right, yeah? Okay. Yeah, Wife, are you getting a look at this? Yes, I'm right. She's... Oh, yes. Oh. oh, nice. That's my dream. It's her dream. Her dreams are now fulfilled. <laughs> it falls down the back there. We'll pick it up in a minute. Okay, so now what I want to do is just collect that sack that's inside so it doesn't come back from Okay. So you've been watching the Sandra Lee? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, Have you been... the bigger... there was one and it was like this chap's whole back. Yeah. Oh, I just... Yeah. I love it. So this one here at the back is actually... It's bigger, isn't it? Sebaceous, yes. Yeah, it's not less, less pilar. Or sebaceous. It's got a slight odour to it. I don't know if you can smell that. Yeah. Um, so there's the risk that these ones actually get infected. So that's a, that's a real challenge with them. And what we want to do is uh, try and get this thing out nicely. Okay. It's a bit more tricky to see on the camera, I guess, because it's a uh, Funny angle. But let's try and get this out. All right, so a bit more scraggly. It's, uh, mm. it's a sebaceous cyst, not a pilar cyst, and so the sac lining is much thinner. It's not that hair follicle origin. It's more kind of a, a single cell, very thin piece of tissue. So what I want to do now is just double check that there's nothing left inside. No. Okay, good, it's all fine. And again, a very small incision. Uh, you won't notice that at all. It'll fit nicely into natural creases of the skin. The fat folds, I think you mean. Uh, <laughs> fat folds? Do I mean fat folds, Nigel? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, so again, once again, I'm going to put the single interrupted stitch, which will need to come out 
in seven to 10 days. Keep it dry for the first 48 hours uh, because it still needs to scab over like any other wound would. Um, and so we don't want to introduce debris or um, foreign material into that scab. How are you doing, Nigel? You okay? It's yeah, a bit hot. Sorry about the heat. Uh, well, I, I just always run hot, but run hot. you need a fan in here. I do need a fan. <laughs> I do need a fan. So get that hot heat For around. For people like me. What? What? Yeah. So he will sweat. So you have mm -hmm. to keep them dry, dry, dry. Mm -hmm. Will that matter? Uh, no, no. That natural sweat's okay. I just don't want to put like um, shampoo yeah. or uh, anything else in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're right, Nigel? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. <laughs>